Hey folks, today we're gonna to take a look at how to do this in After Effects. Welcome to the channel. My name is Norm Reynolds, and if you're not already subscribed, feel free to take a second to click that little subscribe button down the bottom. As I mentioned in the intro, today we're talking about how to create the comic slide transition in After Effects. Now this one's pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead and dive right in. We're gonna start by opening up After Effects. Let's start a new project. We're gonna drop in a couple either photo or video clips here. Let's go ahead and get File, Import, File. And I've got a couple of clips here from a vlog we shot last year. I'm gonna bring them both into the timeline. So we'll kind of have like a you know photographer transitioning to their shot. So I want to switch the order of these because I want the longer clip to be visible at the top. I'm going to back out of here a little bit. First thing I'm going to want to do is drop a mask on top layer here. Grab our handy dandy pen tool. And we'll kind of give it one of those just like that. And that'll be our mask. The next thing I'm going to want to do is enable separate dimension on the video files. We'll Open up this drop down, bring in a transform, and right here where it says position, I'm gonna right click on that and, and separate dimensions. Now I have separate control over the X and the Y axis. I'll do the same thing over here, transform, position, separate dimensions. What this is gonna do is give you a bit better control over the slide itself. We're gonna use the Y position to bring this clip just out of frame. Click on that number and you hold shift, it'll speed up the movement a little bit so you don't have to click and drag and let go and click and drag and let go and click and drag and let go. And, and now we're ready for the magic. We're gonna move the time indicator up to the point where you think you're gonna to wanna to start the transition. And we're gonna drop keyframes on the Y position for both of our clips. Now we're gonna bring it to the point where we want the transition to end, and we're going to move our clips into position. We know we want this to come back up to 540, because that's where it started. That's what happens there. And now, you can see, it pops up. Neat, but it's missing something, isn't it? Yes, it's missing a lot of things, and we're gonna, we're gonna do the things, okay? Don't worry about it. We're gonna bring the time tracker back to where we can see the intro clip. That way, we can select it and adequately move it out of the way. This time, we're gonna bring this one up because we want it to go in the same direction, probably about there. But of course, we want the time frame to match up, bring it to even with that. We're gonna right click on the clip that ends, we're gonna go time, and we're gonna freeze on the last frame. What this will do is it'll give the effect like we're pausing the previous video to show the new one, like this. So you can see there's a gap in our frames. We don't want that to be there, but we'll adjust that in a second. First thing we're gonna do is set our existing keyframes to easy ease to give it a bit more of a fluid movement, but I wanna take it a little bit further from there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our first file. We're going to open up the graph editor. We're gonna click on this and you see it's got handles here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move these handles so that the curve is a lot sharper. And this will give us some quick motion at the beginning and the end of the transition, giving it the feeling like it's quick, but keeping it interesting for longer. So let's see what that looks like. Still have that gap, but Move these handles. Looking good. So now that I've adjusted both handles, it's given it the motion that I want. Almost eliminate all the gaps, but I think there's just one frame that has a gap in it. So we're gonna fix that by changing the velocity of this handle just a little bit. Bring it down to there and that. Should solve the problem outright. Let's see how this looks frame by frame. Looking good. And just like that, we're finished. Straightforward, nice and quick, just like I said. If you wanna do this with the photos or photo in a video, it's the same principle. So all you have to do is, you know, put a photo where the video would be or a video where the video would be and a photo where the photo would. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know who signed me up for this. That's it for today. Let me know if you wanna see a more advanced version of this tutorial. If you did like what you saw here today, feel free to hit that like button knock that subscribe button into the bell to see more content as it's released. And as always, go and have yourselves an amazing day. That's it for today. Let me know if you'd like to see a more advanced version of this tutorial. Okay. Oh, my nose is itchy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>